Personal story segment tonight. The California Supreme Court says it will hear challenges to the vote against gay marriage out there, which is no surprise. The courts do want to impose gay marriage on America. There's no question about it. As you may know, uh, since gay marriage was voted down in the Golden State 16 days ago, there have been many clashes between protesters and some Christian groups. Now, last Friday in San Francisco, 21 year old Christine Cloud, a Christian missionary, says she was physically assaulted by a man. Ms. Cloud has filed a police report and joins us now from the city by the bay. So I understand that you're in a group down there, I guess about 12 people, uh, Christian people, evangelists, and you go, you go down to the gay neighborhoods and you play music and you try to engage people in conversation. Is that what you do? Yes, we've been going down to the Castro for the better part of three years now. And we go down there and we play worship music. And if people want to talk to us, we'll talk with them. And if people want prayer, we pray for them. And we've been going down there for the better part of three years now. now. Do, do you set up shop on the street, actually on the street? Yes, on the corner of 18th and Castro, that is where we play music. All right, now, you don't stop people, though, and you don't try, they, they can walk by you without you trying to stop them or... or... Yes, that's true. Okay. We, don't, we, we don't stop people. All right, so if they want to talk to you, you're there, um, and your, your mission is to do what? What do you want to do down in this group? Our mission is to share the love of God and to minister the gospel of Jesus Christ. Are you trying to convert people to be straight from gay? Are you trying to do that? No, we are not trying to convert gay people into straight people, but we are down there to tell them about Jesus Christ in hopes that they would have that revelation. Now, you go down there, you know, after uh, gay marriage is voted down, a lot mm -hmm. of people are angry, but you still go down. You're still, yes. you're still going down there now. Um, yes, that's true. And then some guy comes over and roughs you up. How did that happen? Well, we, were, we decided going down there that we were not going to instigate conversation. We were not going to open air preach. We wanted to be sensitive to these people. So we were just singing Amazing Grace. We were actually in a circle holding hands, singing Amazing Grace, when a man walked up to our group and he picked up a Bible that was, sit that was sitting next to me. And I approached him and I said, Sir, could you please give me back my Bible? That's one of ours. And he turned around, he said no, and he hit me upside the head with the Bible knocking me to the ground and began to kick my legs. Wow. Yeah. Now, were the police there? Did they see that? Yes. The police took him into custody, and they came up to me, and they asked me if I wanted to press charges against this man, and I said, no. Tell him that I forgive him. And then you, but you did decide to fill out a police report. We had to have I, that to make sure that your yes. account is true, and you, and you did, and we saw it, right? So what happened there? Yes. I did decide to fill out a police report just so that there is a record of what happened. Now, do you know this guy? Did you talk to this guy afterward? Did, did, were there, did you try to reason with him at all? No, I didn't know this man, and I didn't try to talk to him afterwards. The police suggested that I didn't that I didn't talk to him, so... Did they, they take him, him in? Go. Did the police take him into the police station? No, they did not take him into the police station. They hmm. escorted him out of the Castro. So he assaulted you, kicked you, hit you with a, in the head with a book, the Bible, and the mm -hmm. police didn't arrest him even though the police saw it? That, that seems strange to me. Well, it was because, I believe, because I didn't want to press no, charges No, I know, I know, him. but if a policeman witnesses a crime, you don't have to. He saw it. You see what yeah, I'm talking about? True. Well, actually, I don't know if the police actually saw it, but they were called and came to came to where we were okay now um, are you going back down there I mean what had you process this whole thing well it was it was traumatizing and I don't know if we are gonna go back but at this point we're gonna use wisdom because we know that it is a politically charged yeah situation. I mean I think you, got, you have to let things cool down a little bit yeah, I mean we course. want you to be safe I mean you seem like a nice young lady <laughs> and we certainly don't want you to get hurt but emotions are running high um, yeah, that's true. You know, the Christian uh, tenet is turn the other cheek, and it looks like you did that here. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, it would, was there any sense of, let's see if it were me, I would have got up and, you know, what I would have done. <laughs> um, but you turned the other cheek, Miss Cloud. I did. I, well, my, my desire is that they would not feel like they're condemned or unloved. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate you coming on, and please stay safe. Uh, Thank you. Take it easy, you and your group, for a couple of weeks, all right?